Well, last two weeks in a row, I've predicted exactly what's coming up. When? When did you do that? Well, last night I said, it's going to be power snatch burpees with a three minute rest. <laughs> Shut up. And then straight into my muscle. I said that. I am the Oracle. <laughs> Yoda. You're the Yoda. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> What is up and welcome back to the vlog. We are off to get some caffeine because it's a very big day. It is 19.4 open workout day and we are going tonight. Let's do it. We are in heat number one on Friday Night Lights at Perpetua. Oh, oh. It's gonna be good. Make sure you're there, guys. We'll see you there. Right, we are going in for a quick fire question round. Charles is first. Let's go. You just have to say yep. the answer. It's whatever comes into your head, say the answer. I'm ready, I'm good. Phrase or Froning? Froning. Fran or Grace? Fran. Hebrew or Marston? Marston. Barbell or Dumbbell? Barbell. Pizza or Pasta? Pasta. Pasta. Run or Row? Uh, row. Pear or Peach? Pear. <laughs> front or Back Squats? <laughs> What's that, the first one? Uh, front Squats. Craig or Jazz? Uh, good jazz. Snatch or Clean? Uh, clean. Swim or Bike? Yeah. Swim. Gymnastics or Cardio? Cardio. <laughs> what is that question? <laughs> now we flip it over. My turn to ask Charles. Right. Clean or snatch? Clean. Spieler or bridges? Spieler. Ring muscle ups or bar muscle ups? Ring. Castro glassman? Castro. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Strong or fit? Strong. Fraser or Frodo? Fraser. Caged or free range? Free range. <laughs> Strict or kipping? Strict. T Richie or Buttery Bros? T Richie. <laughs> oh, cover me in or Apple? Uh, Apple. Sarah or Mike? Sarah. Ah, oh, damn, you were quick on that one. <laughs> I can't believe I said all of those answers. I prefer throwing. <laughs> right guys, we're gonna head back to the gym. We are gonna go through some top tips for efficiency on the bar muscle up, snatch and the burpees. Uh, so see you there. Right guys, we are back at the gym to go through our top tips for 19.4. We've got bar muscle ups, we've got snatches, we've got burpees. So guys, on the, uh, on the snatches, unless you've got sets of 10 unbroken throughout the whole workout, don't fall for it, it is a trap. Break it up. If maybe something manageable, so like sets of five, it is gonna be a much more sustainable strategy. It's gonna keep your heart rate down and you're gonna be able to move through the burpees a little bit more consistency, consistently. If you're struggling with your bar muscle up or you're not quite there yet, do not waste energy failing attempts. If you're kind of on the brink of getting a muscle up and you know you've got one or two, take the extra seconds to rest yep. and then jump up and do the, the, the bar muscle up. Otherwise, you're just gonna waste energy, waste time failing reps and it's gonna get frustrating and then mentally you're just gonna So just stay, stay relaxed, we'll cover off some tips now. Stay relaxed, stay composed, jump up, make every attempt count. Unless you're a super good gymnast, break them up. Yes. So number one for your bar muscle up is you really need to make sure you've activated your lats. And things like a banded pull down, um, like a lat pull down or a single arm scat pull on a band are going to be a really effective way of activating your lats for the bar muscle ups. Do not treat this like a pull up or a chest to bar. You need to keep your arms, your levers nice and straight so you can press the bar towards your hips. A lot of people will panic and try and get into that support position above the bar too early. Be patient, spend the time, yeah you might, spend the time <laughs> letting your hips rise to the bar and then at the last minute, I want you to imagine there's someone you hate right above the bar and you're just gonna headbutt them as hard as you can. Another top tip, if the bars are a reasonable height, you can actually jump into the bar to generate your momentum on the kick. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate a bad rep and then I'm gonna demonstrate a good rep. So first things first, we're gonna go for a bad rep and you'll notice that I pull with my arms too early and I'm gonna to have to chicken wing and struggle to get over the top of the bar. <laughs> so you can see already that that becomes quite challenging. But what we're trying to create is gonna be something more like this. Watch me be patient and let my hips rise to the bar before I kick over. I'm gonna jump into the bar like I said earlier. much more patient with my hips towards the bar. I really hope you guys smash your bar muscle ups today. 
Right guys, I'm going to go through some of the tips for the burpees on this workout, okay? So, there's a couple of different strategies, but this year we are allowed to step up in our burpees. Therefore, it's a great way to just manage your heart rate a little bit more and stay a little bit more consistent. Uh, and it can save your hips for the when we're kipping on the uh, muscle ups and also when we're going into the snatches, okay? So, a couple of little tips on this, guys. When we're coming down, it's going to be bar facing, okay? So, we're coming down. And when you come back up, step up, jump over, two footed jump and land. We're not looking for any galloping over the uh, bar. Uh, and then come straight back down again into the split. Step up, over. And it just keeps things a lot more manageable from a heart rate point of view and just from a fatigue point of view. And then you're going to be able to jump straight back into your snatches again and really use that hip extension that we've saved on the burpees. So what we want to avoid when we're doing high volume snatches at pace, especially at a lighter weight, is kind of not using your legs efficiently or using your legs en enough. And because it is light, you can get away with pulling it off the floor. But Mike is very elegantly demonstrating kind of a hybrid between a power snatch and a good morning. And we really he wants to avoid this and you can see he's keeping his legs relatively straight and he's actually rounding through the upper back so squeeze under your armpit stay tight through the upper back which I hope he's going to demonstrate now and he's going to keep his chest up at the bottom of the rep there and then he's driving through the legs extending through the hips <laughs> and hitting himself in the face oh god I'm that so explosive oh so, like we were saying, Mike is hopefully not going to hit himself in the face when he does it this evening, but he's setting up at the bottom of the rep with his chest up, really nice position, squeezing under the armpits, so we're getting tension through the upper back and using our lats, extending through the hips, getting contact, and then he's dropping underneath the barbell to make sure he's not pulling so high. That's a really efficient rep. So those are the top tips for the snatch. But most of all, guys, as ever, enjoy the workout, have fun with it, see where your weaknesses and strengths are. I'm sure you're all going to crush it. Let us know how you get on, and we will see you for the workout later on. Good luck, guys. If you have liked our tips and the video we have put out and the content we're doing, then please do go and like and subscribe below. Do it, guys. See you later. Me again. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs>